tonight. Summer to remember bucket list included a wacky roadside attraction. Joe just backed the camper from there and parallel parked it so that we could visit this space awesome. museum. So it is the, we're in the birthplace of Neil Armstrong. So it's first man on the moon, Ohio. Let's see. Then we're gonna walk and get Peyton's and McDonald's because the gas station lunch we just bought was not nice. Send me that picture. What is this? this one's Welcome to Kentucky. I'm Where? pretty sure the map is showing me that we're crossing the state line. So what we say that we should do it? And like that there's like another okay. Indian. Right. Museum. We picked up these two vagabonds. <laughs> vagabonds wave. <laughs> Anything else, Dame? Stuck somewhere way for. We're going to be part of it. Yep, that's all. So that's it. far, so good. Dawson's in the front seat like a big boy. <laughs> When you come into the museum, you walk through these gardens first, or I should say when you come into the ticket booth. Oh, they smell good too. Got some lights for nighttime. I was about to say that must just be in the winter. It won't be dark at seven. I like those plants. Fishnet stocking. That's what they're called. The hard pass. Says do not climb. little one. So tiny. 
the hero Nomotosaurus. Some of the largest and most colorful beetles in the world. Guys, a dung beetle will only have a turn. Gross. If it was living. What would you do if you found this in a room? Move out. Yeah. Definitely. Move out of the camper. I think he's we're living in it. Ew, what's that? Look at that worm. Ew, what's that white one? What are these? Ew. All right, so we were a little lost, but we have found the exhibits. What is it like? For decorations. Just decoration. Those millions and billions of years have clouded my understanding. The Bible tells how God created a perfect world. Did anyone know? Did anyone know? Did anyone know? Did anyone know? Did so this shows how the world was perfect before sin. Mm -hmm. Um, no, like these are fake, but they represent real animals. Yes. <laughs> um, this might be the tree of life. This is the tree of life. Yeah, not the forbidden. This is the tree of life. The serpent. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> oh, we waved. I saw his fingers. <laughs> All right, finished the museum. We're going to attempt to find the animal experience, but here's just kind of a look at the property. A lot to do here. Hi. 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 Can you just say hi? Did you go in with the goats? Yeah. There's no llamas over here because they're uh, eating. So tiny. excited about this portion of our trip we are heading home so that's sad but we're in Kentucky and Scott and Jan are meeting us here so that's exciting um, because we don't typically have company on stuck somewhere way and now we do and we are staying at this particular campground just to visit the Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum so the Ark Encounter is a replica of Noah's Ark um, and it's built to the specifications outlined in Genesis in the Bible so that way it would be a life-size replica so we're going to check that out today we did the creation museum yesterday which shows the creation of the world the creation of man with the first Adam and then also um, 
the blessing that comes with the last Adam in our Savior Jesus. So very cool museum. Um, the tickets themselves are a little bit pricey, but you can see how well maintained the grounds are. There's tons to do. So you can see it going towards something and that's good too. So we're gonna go check it out. sunlight. Oh, from the top.
was a waste of time. They didn't make it. <laughs> They're more like mammals than lizards or crocodiles. They look like a peerless otter. What's this one doing? Oh, Let's look. see what he saw. Whoop. Oh my. Something must be in there, little guy. You gonna join him? Oh yeah, man. Some baby alpacas. So there's camel rides here. Peyton has opted out because it's a very long line. And I've done one before that. Very hot out here. I've done and one she before. has ridden one before, so. That's a big one. You get a good picture of the whole thing. Look how long. Yeah, I've heard this is the longest animal that exists. Yeah. All right. Head on one side, rear end on the other. Extra long. See you later, dude. It's a real one? Yeah. Oh. You can make scrambled eggs for days so with that. To, if it happens yeah, right now, can I take the mama? Oh. Yeah, it's equivalent to two dozen eggs, uh, chicken eggs, and it's three pounds. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Baby emus. Oh, there's a sloth in that basket. Let's go find him. Oh. I'll pose for y'all if I have to. Then these guys only defecate once a week. Gross. Um, <laughs> Sounds like a perfect pet. <laughs> it is a perfect pet, but then at the same time, these guys also um, will grow uh, sometimes in, in the wild. And I know our sloths don't, but I know in, they still have some. These actually will grow a, uh, a microscopic uh, organism on their body. They actually Ooh. will grow like algae and things uh. like that and have like actual like living like things living on them. So it's like an ecosystem on their body. So they live a long time. I think it's about, they can live to about 30 to 40 years. So you're having that pet He's for a long time. Um, so that's the thing I like He's to tell people with a lot of pets, especially oh. like in the sense of tortoises. A lot of people like tortoises as pets. Well, that tortoise is going to live up to 80 to 100 years. So that tortoise is probably going to outlive you and your and your children and your grandchildren have to deal with that tortoise. So, <laughs> um, and Yep, because sixth grade science. Well, you know what I meant. I teach that. There's a baby. Just chilling out in the shade over there. Oh, what a cute little nugget. Oh, yeah, there's one there. They need to put up some canopies for these guys. Give them some more shade. It's kind of obvious they like the shade, right? All right. Came out to find Dawson. He's still on the aerial challenge. That's in there. <laughs> Perfect timing. So it still had a weight requirement, so Peyton wasn't able to do it. Having fun? Hot? I don't think Peyton would be able to do some of these. Well, I think that's why it was the weight requirement. Did you like zip line across them? Yeah. Okay, so that must be why she couldn't. Oh, I guess that's true. But he would not be able to. She'd probably have a brace on it. Yeah. So probably best. This one's cool. So did you just have... You stayed on the bottom because you did tier one. Yeah, that's so that's what the different prices were? There's a lot of zip lines on this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess we could have done the tier two. Huh? We just didn't realize that's what it was. I realized it after. 
<laughs> I think you're supposed to run it. If it didn't shake, I would. <laughs> So how was it? Fun. Fun? It's a good one? Mm-hmm. Best one you've ever done? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool how it has the zip lines on it. So there's a look at the main zip line. There's a zip line course. I would suggest getting those tickets when you get here because they reserve times and so it was much later on. So Dawson went with the aerial course instead and then that has the 85 pound weight limit so Peyton wasn't able to do that all right we are at Big Bone Lick State take Park our, take a ride at Dickerson <laughs> if, if you want to chuckle Google a Don't map of this Crouch, area Crouch Road. and read all the names of the road. Due to the extreme heat movement of the bison herd into wooded areas, there may be limited or observed uh -oh. viewing. Oh, oh they're saying we're, we're not going to see any woods. bison. We're going in the woods. We'll we're going to find we're them in the woods. Found our first pack it's like eight at night, so maybe they'll be out. Anyhow, look at the names of the roads around here. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Let you do that. I can't sneak up on them. Listen to me. I'm not even making noise. All right, it's all fenced. How are they supposed to be? So, where are they? The trail goes that way. Read the sign, honey. All right, this says they're isolated in April and May. It's July. That's for a different reason, though. The shelter young cow. Let's see if they're out in this field. All right, made it to the end. There's definitely tracks. No bison. It's like somebody's farm. And then they have this one gate that opens to the woods, so they're probably all hiding back here, but we can't get any further. All right, we found them. That's what we get for being naysayers. We found the herd. Sorry, the gimbal battery died. So it's very shaky. Because I'm zoomed in pretty far. Gotten All so right. much closer. So we did get to see the bison. Awesome. We're getting bit up and it's hot. But it's okay. All right. They're like, there's like 30 of them. There's some babies too. There's a chicken. <laughs> Sticker for the summer. We'll drive through Tennessee, but we're not staying there, so we're not going to count it yet. I'm going to go ahead and show you the site. We're at Northern Kentucky RV Resort. When we pulled in, you could tell by the office it was an old KOA. So the grounds are really nicely maintained, um, but the spots leave something to be desired they're pretty close together as you can see here there's scott and jan behind us and like our site in particular the grass is completely sloped so if you sit on the picnic table you risk tipping it that kind of thing um it's full hookups but it's probably going to be tight to get out of this site they closed the pool they built a really nice playground so it was just great proximity to the Ark and the Creation Museum because it's basically in the middle of the two. 
Um, and that was our whole purpose of coming here. So there goes Scott and Jan heading to Hawking Hills. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're probably going to back out of this site and we're on our way to Mammoth Cave.